This bicep workout will get you results just using a resistance band. That's right, no door anchor, no handles, just you and the band. Today, I'm gonna show you how to train your biceps just using resistance bands. And the reason why I'm making this video is I get a lot of comments on Instagram, on the videos below, or on the community board saying, I don't have a door anchor. I don't have handles. I don't have a door. So that's why I made this video because I'm listening to you out there so I make sure that you can get the best workout possible with just using resistance bands. So anyone can do this at home. Now, if you're watching this video and you have these type of bands, I'm talking the tube style bands with handles, Turn this video off right now and watch this one, okay? This video I have directly for the biceps for those type of bands, cause I got you covered. And if you're new to the channel, I do all things resistance bands on this channel. So go ahead and check out all the other videos and the workouts. The most recent one would be the Extreme Workout Series and all that is the bands of the ones that come with handles. Now, for this video, I have a whole series that I'm starting just now. I uploaded the first video last week when it came to the chest of using these loop style bands, the completely circular ones, the ones that are without handles here, that you can watch that entire series. So go ahead and check out last week's video on the chest and hit that notification bell and subscribe so you can get every video in the series that's coming out on a weekly basis. Now, in order to get the best results out of this video, you wanna watch the entire video until the end because during each exercise, I'm gonna be going over technique and form. And that is the key to getting results with resistance bands. So make sure that you pay attention to the entire video because just knowing the exercises is half the battle. And really to get results, you need to do the technique properly. So go ahead and make sure you watch the entire video at least the first time through all the way through. Now, at the end of the video, I'll be going over sets and reps, and I'll also provide a weekly schedule so you can incorporate this into your weekly workouts. So now that we know how to get the most out of this video, let's go ahead and work out. All right, so we're gonna begin with a bicep curl, but keep in mind the next workout, we're gonna modify that to really get the interior of the bicep. So we're gonna start by just grabbing our band here, and the band that I'm using today is it's the heavy one here for this exercise. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna step on the band here, okay? And then we're gonna grab our bands just like so, and we're gonna come up and just curl up. Now, when you're doing this, the number one thing that you need to do, or the number one mistake that I see people doing improperly, improperly that you wanna do right is that you wanna keep your wrists slightly bent backwards what you don't wanna do is have it come forward like this. You wanna keep it backwards there. And that way, it takes the forearm out of the exercise and only focuses on the biceps. All right. And so we have our hands about shoulder width apart. We're keeping our back straight. No leaning forward, line like that. No leaning backwards. We're just keeping it straight and we're coming up and we're squeezing those biceps and you want to get it all the way up to that peak feel that contraction and you want to make sure that you let the band down don't just drop it down like that you want to control the band don't let the bands control you just like that all right so for our next exercise, like I said, it's a modified version of what we just did to get the interior of our biceps. And we're gonna use the Undersun medium size band. Now, you don't have to use Undersun bands, you can use any bands. These are just the bands that I like. I love the big bolt leathers and it makes it so that you can easily follow along at home. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna step on the bands. And my lovely camera woman here, she's gonna come in, I want you to come in on my hands. So I want you to see how I'm gonna wrap this. So you see, uh, I'm actually gonna start off with the back of the hands and I'm gonna come around like this and curl just like that, okay? Now, how we're gonna do this exercise is that we're gonna come in very close, okay? So we're getting the interior of the biceps just like that. There's gonna be three parts of your biceps and you really need this to get a good, nice peak to the biceps, okay? 
Still keeping those wrists bent backwards, but we're coming in. So before we're kind of side like this here, uh, away from our body, but we're coming in inward, okay? And I want you to maintain that pump and keep coming up just like that, all right? Now you don't have to use a medium size. If you're just starting out, you wanna go a little bit lighter, but don't sacrifice form for ego. All right, everybody's got to start somewhere. And trust me, if you work your way up slowly, you'll be able to get those heavy resistance that you want. Get stronger and you'll look good. Another tip you want to do is go ahead and hit that like button, all right? So put a lot of work in making these videos. I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. All right, so we're gonna use that same size there band. It's gonna be the medium one here from Undersun. And if you wanna purchase the Undersun ones, I do have a link in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. All right, so we're gonna step on the band just like so, okay? And I want you to grab the band. Now, where you're gonna grab it is depending on your strength level. That's the great thing about resistance bands. You can, all, um, you can quickly on the fly add resistance or you can get less resistance. So you wanna grab the band here. If you're unsure, you can kinda of start at the top here so you can see where you're at. And we're gonna grab a fist like this here and we're gonna come straight up just like that, okay? Now, if you wanna add some more resistance, just break it down some, okay? And that'll make it a lot tougher, all right? So we're coming straight up, we're keeping our feet stable keeping our back straight, our abs contracted, and we're really focusing on that bicep, okay? Really focus, all right? And then from there, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, step on the band, grab that resistance level where you're at when you were on your arm before, that way we can get them developed nice and even. And we're just coming up with a hammer curl with resistance bands. Just like that. And you just wanna squeeze, coming up. And this really, really is gonna help develop your biceps. Now, if you want that shredded look where those veins are popping, you really wanna focus on your diet. So I actually have a free meal plan in the link in the description below. Go ahead and check that out because it's all about lowering body fat to see those veins popping so you're looking good for the beach because that summertime is approaching. Go ahead and check out that free meal plan. No strings attached. It's in the link in the description below. Okay, now on this one, I'm gonna use a heavy set band here. So just go a little bit heavier than you normally do. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but this one in most people is gonna require it to be a little bit heavier. Now, the technique is very important with this one because it's gonna look similar to a bicep curl, but it's not. So you're gonna step on your band, all right? Now, one of the major key things with this is that you're gonna keep your hands flat out like this, and you wanna maintain that through this lift. So you're gonna come up just like that, and you're gonna keep that band really close to your body. It's almost like it's just kissing the hairs right there. And for your ladies out there, it's just tickling your tummy. Eh, might have some hair as a woman, you never know. Okay. But either way, you just want to kind of kiss right there on that outer layer of the skin or those hairs. And you're just bringing them up, keeping those elbows back, okay? That's the key. So we're not coming forward like this with a bicep curl with it close. We're main, maintaining that it's flat and we're coming up and that tension is getting harder and harder at the top. And you're gonna come up until your biceps stop you. This is extremely effective in making whiffs in your biceps to really get those sleeves hugging right against your arms, all right? Just like that. Ooh, these ones are killers. All right, technique and form is very important in this. All right. All right.
All right, so we're gonna go back to our medium sized band. And this is kind of a combination of two exercises that we did uh, previously. And this is really gonna be extremely effective when it comes to developing your biceps. So you're gonna step on the band and I want you to have a wide stance, okay? Get those feet wide, all right? And just like before how I told you you can measure your resistance level by going further down or up, this is how you're gonna do this also in this exercise. So if you're a beginner, you're gonna start up here, all right? And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do a hammer curl, but with a twist to it real close to your body. So a hammer curl like before, but we're keeping it close to the body like those bicep raises, okay? Now, as I said, if you're more advanced, go just further down, okay? That's the great thing about resistance bands. We can change this on the fly, all right? So you're keeping it close to your body. You're kissing those hairs or that outer layer of your skin, keeping it close. And this is what we want. Come right here, bam, you see that? That's what we want. We wanna maintain that. We wanna hit that contraction, okay? Here we go, bam, just like that. And remember, you wanna control the bands. Don't let the bands control you. And you know what I'm gonna say. Leave a comment if you made it this far right here. And if you're a real one and you're really feeling that workout, leave that comment. Control the bands, don't let the bands control you. So I'm switching to the other side. All right, wide stance. Go at the resistance level where you were at in the first, the first time you did this on the other arm. Same thing, coming up close to the body. Extremely close. We wanna feel that contraction right there at the peak. All right, back straight, abs contracted, chest out, band close to the body, just like this. A nice hammer twist. All right. Keep going, really feel that. If you found it's getting easier, go further down. If it's getting harder, you go further up on the band, okay? Here we go. Now let's talk about how we can incorporate this into our weekly schedule in sets and reps. I recommend working out five days a week with two days rest. On day one, I recommend working out your biceps and your triceps. On day two, I recommend working out your chest and your traps. On day three, I recommend working out your abs and your forearms. On day four, I recommend working out your shoulders and your back. On day five, go ahead and work out your legs and your calves. And don't forget to take those two days rest. Those two days rest are very important because that's actually where you're gonna build muscle. Now, for sets and reps, I recommend doing each of the exercises that you see today, three sets of 15 to 20 reps and also take one minute rest in between each set. Now, in order to take your workout to the next level, I recommend watching these two videos. So go ahead and watch them now, because if you want real results, you're really gonna have to pay attention to the details. Click it, click it, go ahead, right now. <laughs>